Let's talk about Aspen. It's mm. a significant global pharma company supplying branded and generic pharmaceuticals in more than 150 countries across the world. Indeed. So now we're talking about a JSE listed company. So you can buy this one in Rands. You don't have to get fancy and have money offshore like those other ones. And really, it's in the second division of global pharma companies, but it's beginning to accumulate a substantial and pretty meaningful portfolio. It listed at 53 cents. Really? <laughs> when it came out of when the SA druggists. That's astonishing. So amazing, amazing wealth creation over the years. And we'll check in on where it's trading right now. Market cap, 139.4 billion rand, PE of 34.4 and a dividend yield of 0.8%. So expensive when you look at that price earnings ratio. Yeah, especially when you look at it on a historic basis. Um, it really did not have a, a very good FY16 or financial year 2016. Mm. Um, lots of troubles in terms of the entire Venezuelan business basically being written off because of um, currency movements there. Um, and then also some concerns in South Africa where you have a regulated pricing environment and um, your input costs uh, go up as the rand weakens. So there's some mod and so a there. bigger problem in South Africa is their manufacturing plant and yeah. the fact that the supply-demand equation was really scuppered by uh, their inability to supply drugs, um, although the demand was there. And Stephen, yeah. uh, Stephen Saad recently admitting that specifically in a results interview mm -hmm. saying that I think the market is disappointed that they had trouble yeah. at home. He's quite relieved because he says trouble at home means he can fix it. Yes, absolutely. And that is that is the key point here. And that manufacturing plant is actually one of the crown kind of jewels for for Aspen. Um, if you look at it um, objectively, I mean, it's low cost. It's in it's 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 local. Um, there's a lot of capacity. And um, what they also what they also tend to do is with some of these m big international acquisitions, they'll manufacture in South Africa, which is a cheap manufacturing destination. And, um, and in, in, that, in that way, reduce their cost of goods sold and increase margins. The um, manufacturing element, mm. uh, Stephen also saying that he has taken remedial action and tough remedial action. He normally just fires people. <laughs> He's very tough internally. I was, just really I was using that remedial action, uh, yeah. but you've unpacked it for us. And then also the other thing is obviously the Glaxo overhang is mm. now out yes, of the store. that's a plus because Glaxo was hanging around originally with 18, then it went down to 12, then down to 6, now they're gone. And then they have some other stuff going on, which is interesting, anesthetics because of the recent deals with AstraZeneca. But I think they really now need to develop and win in terms of their distribution and margin management. There's a lot going on, but the market has sort of been disappointed, then re-energized, and now disappointed again. It's really floating at just above 300 Rand a share. Yeah, so, so one of the things that, that, that we feel they should really focus on as well is bedding down these latest acquisitions. Because at the moment, if you look at it, uh, the, the rate of return does not beat the, their weighted average cost of capital, which is a vital kind of uh, metric that you, it's a you vital need metric. to pay attention to. Yes, and you have, that determines whether or not your acquisitions are successful. So they need to start working on getting those synergy, synergy gains ready uh, or, or, or right. Um, Share price graph? Yeah. We've seen it. So it went up, it went down, it got above 400, and then it slumped very, very badly. And lately it's been slumping again. It just briefly went below 300 Rand a hot, share. Hot or not? So um, a lot of this has to do with that GSK overhang. You can actually see how the share price has slipped after GSK s sold their shares. And that's just an oversupply of shares in the market for the moment. If you look at this valuation or the company's valuation on a forward basis, it actually is the cheapest it's been in a very long time. Forward P of about 18 times. You expect some really nice earnings growth of a very depressed base. It'll have to be a hot. Hot, hot or not? Hot for me, it's losing us the most money of any position in our hot stocks portfolio, but definitely hot at this price. Mm -hmm.